Proud to sponsor programming that stimulates children's growth and sense of adventure. Always happen to me. Always late. Always the last one. Uh, I gotta get myself into a Tai Chi class soon and get myself into shape. Come on, you can do it. Man. Just keep flapping. Just keep flapping. Just keep flapping. Fla oh my gosh, another near miss. Well, at least the hearing's still great, even if the sonar is shot. Now, what is that sound? Like trouble, trouble, trouble again, and from you know who. Oh, that little cat, I swear. Here I go again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> hey, that's my trick. Yeah, I know. Just thought I'd give it a try. So, how do you like it? Well, it's kind of fun, except my tail is starting to get a little tired. Oh, in fact, I think I'm going to fall! Huh? Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Shia, thank you again. Eh, think nothing of it. <sighs> what else are friends for, anyway? Hey, this place is terrific. Oh, I didn't even know it was here. Me neither. I found it this morning. It would make a great place to hang out with Shigua and Dongwa. <clears throat> oh, and you! Well, I like the altitude, that's for sure. It's at bat level. <laughs> yeah, it could be our clubhouse. Just the four of us. Thanks for including me in the club. Well, you are my best friend, and you're always... Rescuing you from one of your adventures? 
It just seems like yesterday when I first found you in that pot of ashes. What's that? What's going on in here? Get me out of this thing! How did you get in there anyway? Please, Mr. 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 Whomever you are, please, sir, can you get me out of here? And then I will be happy to discuss it with you. Whatever you say, <laughs> you're the boss. Sir? Ah, uh, think nothing of it. And you don't have to call me Sir. I'm not that old. Fufu's the name. Fufu at your humble service. Thank you, Fufu. Shishi. Well, that was quite a predicament you got yourself into. Quite a mess. And I must say, I've never seen a creature quite like you before. I'm a cat. Oh, hey, yes, of course. A cat who's going to be in a lot of trouble if my mama sees me like this. By the way, sir, I'm a little curious myself. What are you? Hmm? My, you are young. Haven't you ever seen a bat? Sorry, I don't get out much. So, no, I've never, ever seen a, a, a bat. Well, now you have. I guess today was my lucky day. Yep. Lucky, lucky, lucky! Bats are lucky! Why, I've heard stories that in some faraway lands, people are actually scared of bats. Can you imagine that? <laughs> but here in China, we bring luck. Good luck. Luck, luck, luck! Luck's my name! I thought your name was Fufu. Well, it is. Fufu means luck. I thought it meant bat. That too. Huh? Well... It has to mean one or the other. No, not really. Sometimes words can sound the same but mean different things. So in my case, I am Foo Foo, Lucky Bat. You are... Uh... Sagwa. My name is Sagwa. Very glad to meet you, Sagwa. So, what happened to your glasses? Huh? Oh, that. <laughs> well, you see, I had a little collision with the side of a pagoda. Bats don't always see so well. Sagwa! Sagwa, <gasps> wait this time! Sagwa, where are you? What was that? Who is more like it? My mom. Uh-oh. Trouble. I'm in trouble. Maybe not. I think we can take care of this. don't exactly like to perform the cleanup detail either. But look at yourself now. Clean as a whistle, I'd say. <laughs> Ready to head back? There you go. Safe and sound. And <laughs> clean. Sagwa, get in here right now. Well... I guess I should say thank you, Shishi. Oh, it was nothing. Well, even so, thank you for saving me. And thank you for cleaning me up. I guess I owe you one. Well, you owe me an explanation. That's what you owe me. <laughs> what were you doing stuck in that ash can anyway? Oh, that? I just wanted to see what was in there. <laughs> I should have known then that you would turn out to be quite the explorer. 
Yup, that's me. Always looking for something fun, something interesting. That was quite a day. It sure was. Have you been, Sagwa? Uh, just messing around. Well, never mind. <laughs> we have to hurry, or your father and I are going to be late for our morning duties. Did you wash up for breakfast? <laughs> oh, yes, Mama. Very well. Well, at least you remembered to do that. Remember, we hold an important place in an important house. You must always be spotless. Yes, Mama. I understand. Come, we must go. The magistrate is waiting. Dongwa, look after Sagwa and Shikwa. We will see you later in the day. So, Sagwa, what were you really doing? What kind of trouble did you get yourself into today? What makes you think I was getting myself into any kind of trouble? Because that's your middle name. I didn't know your middle name was Trouble. I thought it was. He was only making a joke, Shigwa. Right, Dongwa? Well, not exactly. Well, today I made a new friend. A lucky new friend. Another cat? Well, no, um... A mouse? Well, sort of, kind of. But that's not it either. <laughs> I've got my Tai Chi lessons. Hiya! Gotta practice. I can't hang around here all day with you two. Say hi to your imaginary friend for me. Hey! Brothers. Oh, brother. Huh? Never mind. Sogwa, I'm glad you made a new friend. Me too. Me too. Huh? Oh, I was saying that I'm glad you became my friend. My Panyo. How Panyo? Best friends. Yup, best friends. <laughs> hey, you're getting me wet. What's wrong with you? Uh, nothing. Uh, just my seasonal allergies. Hey, I can't hang around here all day. I gotta get back to the cave. Uh, late as usual. <laughs> yup, late as usual. Jai Jian, Jai Jian, my friend, gotta go. See you later. Wow, what a great place. I can't wait to show this to Shigwa and Dongwa. A clubhouse. All we need to do is put this over here and move that to... is for dinner, but in South China, people eat rice for breakfast, too. It's called congee, a hot porridge made from rice. And congee never gets boring. It can be sweet or salty, and you can add different ingredients like meat or vegetables. When there's more time on the weekend, people in South China like to eat dim sum for breakfast. Carts come by, and you can pick what you like. Dim sum means little dish. There's shrimp balls, eggplant, mushrooms, wontons, and all sorts of other yummy stuff. It's a great way to try a lot of different tastes without getting too full. What about you? What do you eat for breakfast? I really like egg tortillas for breakfast because 
They taste good. Well, you put egg in them and cheese, and you roll them up and you eat them. My cats are always on our tra- chairs begging for food. They like eggs. I'm opening up the the, the, the thin layer of bread and putting in the cheese that's grilled, or like kind of like grilled cheese, and um, I'm putting in the eggs and some milk, and I'm folding it up. And that's how I make egg tortillas. Now that's a great story. Ooh, I'm kind of hungry. Let's see. What's cooking for breakfast in Mexico? Pan dulce. This means sweet bread. And pan dulce comes in many shapes and sizes. Making it isn't too hard. You break some eggs, add milk, add some flour, and then add yeast. That's what makes it rise. But it's not done yet. A little sugar on top makes it sweet, even if it does get a little messy. So there's all types of breakfast from around the world. <laughs> I'm getting kind of hungry. Whoa! Oh. What about you? Flower, I didn't hear a thing. No, I am sure of it. Cats, mice, Oh, hi. Hey. Like my board? Yeah. I've never seen one like that before. Hey, who's the small fry? I'm not small. Oh, this is my little sister. Who's that? He's just one of the alley cats who lives back here. He's actually pretty cool. Uh, oh! Hey, watch it. So, what are you doing? Out here, a couple of fancy imperial cats like you. You in trouble again, Sagwa? Well, sort of. 
We were playing inside and Tai Tai almost found us. So what exactly, may I ask, were you playing? Cat and seek? <laughs> <laughs> We were playing tag. Get this. Cats playing tag. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the big deal? Tag is fun. And it isn't just cats who play anyway. The mice play too. Mice? 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 <laughs> mice? I mean, what kind of a cat plays with mice? Why... Well, well, why not? What's wrong with that? The mice are our friends. My friends. Friends? Friends? Hey, this kitty's a mouse lover. <laughs> what a <laughs> Hey, leave her alone. Sure, whatever. But get this. Mice are not our friends. They are food, dinner, mushu mouse. Hmm? Shigua, I said be quiet. I'll explain it to you later. Listen, a real cat would never play with a mouse unless he's having it for dinner. What? You mean... you mean... you eat them? Oh, sure. They're delicious. <laughs> Scrumptious. That's terrible. You can't eat mice. They're my friends. Get a grip, scary cat. Cats and mice are different. Always have been, always will be. Hey, I said leave her alone. She's too young to understand. Well, maybe she'll get this. Cats are smarter than mice. Cats are stronger than mice. Cats are bigger than mice. And cats are better than mice. End the story. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, kittens, if you like mice, you ain't no cat. Don't ever show your faces around here again, as long as you're mouse lovers. You two are a disgrace to real cats everywhere! Sakwa, I don't understand. Well, Shigwa, in the outside world, things are sometimes different than they are in here. And cats really catch mice? Uh, yeah. Sometimes. Some cats. But we don't. We're their friends. Um, I guess. Whatever. Look, I gotta get out of here. You know your way back into the house, right? Sure. But you know what? I'm still gonna be friends with the mice. They're cool and they're fun. Who'd want to eat them? Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you later. Hey, sport. How about another game? The gang's all ready. Um, no, I don't think so. Thanks anyway. Hey, what's wrong? You're always up for a good game of tag. I, 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 I'm a real cat. And real cats don't play tag with mice. <gasps> I've got more important things to do. Why the long face? Hi, Fufu. How's it going? I think that's the question for you. Why do you look so sad? You know those alley cats out behind the house? Well, today they told me that real cats would never be friends with mice. That other cats wouldn't like me if I kept hanging out with mice. They said that cats are different. Uh, better than mice. Is that really true? Well, what do you think? I don't know what to think. Tell me, did they happen to mention bats, too? Huh? What do bats have to do with it? Well, in case you haven't noticed, you and I are different, too. So? Well, I'm just as different from you as the mice are. Even more different. After all, I can fly. <laughs> First of all, being different has nothing to do with being better or worse than anybody else. Or whether you can be friends with them. Just look at you and me. We're very different, but we're still best friends. So, 
Are you going to stop hanging out with me just because of our differences? <laughs> of course not. But those cats said... Those cats don't know what they're talking about. They are ignorant. So, I can be friends with the mice? You can be friends with the frogs in the pond if you want. It's your choice. Thanks, Fufu. And thanks for being my friend. Even though I'm... I'm... different from you. Hey! It's because you're different from me. You think I want to spend my whole life hanging with a bunch of bats? Speaking of which, oh, I gotta fly. It's my night to clean the cave. Whoa! <laughs> no! Remember, it's your choice. Jai Jin! Jai Jin! Jai Jin, my friend! It's no fun without Sagwa. That's for sure. Especially with just you around. What's wrong with that? Well, you two cut it out. Well, who's it now? I forget already. Are you it, Dogwa? No, I think it was you. It wasn't me, that's for sure. Uh, maybe it was me. I'll be huh? it. Sorry I'm late. I thought you didn't want to play with us anymore. Oh, that. I'm sorry. I was just being... Ignorant. What's that? It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it some other time. But I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. And you know what else? What? I just tagged you. You're it! I'm gonna get you! That smell! They're here! again no my mellifluous mandarin orange it can't be yes i am sure of it that's mice uh-oh not again get them out of his house I'm always on the lookout for ways to have fun. How about kite flying? Chinese people started making kites over 2,500 years ago. They were probably the first to fly kites. Long ago, kites were not just made of paper, but also of silk. Kites come in many amazing shapes and colors. People in ancient China flew kites and purposely let them go hoping the kites would take bad luck away. Let's all fly a kite. What about you? Do you have any hobbies? Origami is folding paper into things. I can make a um, paper stingray, a paper boat, a paper airplane, and um, a paper windmill. First, you have to make a square like this. I learned how to fold a paper stingray. This is the way you pronounce origami. Origami. Now that was a great story. I guess people everywhere have all sorts of hobbies. Now this is pretty as a picture. Here we are in the Palestinian territories. Ashtar's hobby is photography. After getting a camera as a gift, she looked around to see what she wanted to photograph. All of a sudden, ordinary things became beautiful. She even got a little experimental. Waiting to get the film developed is always the hardest part. After Ashtar gets her photos back, she puts them in an album to share what she's discovered. People all over the world have interesting hobbies. Ah! What about you? Are these the lion dancers for the opening of the new noodle shop? Yep. Yeah. Mm, their moves 
are just okay. I think they're great. Huh? <laughs> Who's the new guy? That's Juan Tom. Pretty cool cat, huh? Ha! Ha! Looks like he knows some gung fu. Ha! Wow! Ha! Wow. Hey guys, did I mention there's gonna be a big feast after the noodle shop opening? Yeah, and those lion dancer kids get rewarded with food. Hey, we should have our own lion dance. No way. So I was thinking, if we have our own lion dance, we'll get tossed some tasty scraps. Hey, Juan Tom, that's a great idea. Huh? Huh? He's looking for what? A costume the daughters used to play with. Looks like an old lion and some new moths. Now we can have a lion dance. <laughs> I want to be the head. No way. One Tom's bigger. He should be the head. But it was my idea. Sorry. Let's get this costume down to the alley and see what he says. Care for a fine carp skeleton, Wonton? If it's protein you want, I know where the best hundred-year-old egg is, Wonton. Hey, Wonton! Who's a little cat? And why is he dragging an old rug around? I heard what you said about performing the lion dance at the noodle shop opening, and that I... That was a great idea, wasn't it? Yeah! Anyway, I'm Dongwa, and... A really, really great idea, Wonton! <laughs> And I'd like to help with the dance. See, here's a lion costume. You shouldn't have. A lion costume? For me? It's for us, actually. I was hoping we could do a lion dance together. Hey, everybody. My new pal and I are going to dance at the noodle shop opening. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? He called me his new pal. Oh, brother. What are you doing? Practicing. <sighs> Why are you jumping around? I'm not jumping around. I'm working on our lion dance. Wontoms in mine. <laughs> <laughs> are you uh, sure you know what you're doing with this wonton guy? Are you kidding? He's my new pal. Hiya! Hiya! After my double jump, I do a big kick in the air. While you're up in the head, flapping your ears like this. Want Tom? Hey, hey, want Tom? Uh, yeah. Keep up the good work, kid. See, he likes it. Of course he likes it. You're doing all the work. Hey, uh, good buddy. If we could just work on our dance together for a little while. Whatever, kid. Here, want a shrimp? Uh, sure. Tell you what, some cats down at the docks are having a fish feast for me. Want to come? New pal? Great, sure, you bet. Put my costume away, okay? Wontom and I are taking off. And brush down the main. Thanks. By the way, 
You're all invited to the noodle shop opening tomorrow night. Thanks. I never turn down free food. Tell me about it. I gotta grab me another fish. Wonton is gonna do a lion dance behind the kitchen. We'll all get the best scraps. Uh, hi. You know that lion dance? It's my costume. Actually, I'm in the lion dance too. I'm Wonton's tail. You're working with Wonton? You must know a ton about him. Well, of course. I'm his new pal. I heard Wandom invented some new moves for the dance. Has he shown them to you? Well, I actually invented... New moves? <gasps> yeah. Watch this. Ah. Great stuff, Wandom. Um, I could show you guys some of my moves if your lion dance sounds great. Can't wait to see it. Just stay out of my way with that tail. But what about all the moves I worked on? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be great. Hey, everyone. If the lion dance isn't a success, a new shop won't have good luck. If it isn't a success, we won't have good luck. noise what do you mean i love noise make way for my new best pals <laughs> here play away best pals i thought i was come on kid shake that lion tail Rawr! Excuse me. What a feast. Thanks to Juan Tom's line dance. <laughs> I can't believe you're letting him take all the credit. Who cares? But it was our costume, Dongwa. And you did most of the dancing. He just kind of shook a lot. You were just upset Juan Tom didn't pick you to be in his dance. What? I don't think so. See you later. We sure were a hit, huh, new pal? Guess we'll want to practice that last move some more tomorrow, right? That's it for lion dancing, kid. Time for something new, right, guys? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! But... Some old buddies and I are hopping a junk tonight for the sugarcane fields. Gonna catch us some rats. See you around, my friend tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, see ya. Hey, Jet Jet, wanna try some lion dancing? Uh, nah, uh, I'm still too full from yesterday. This will be great. I've always wanted to explore the ruined temple. Yeah. Fufu knows the creepiest places. I I promise not to be scared. There you are. Look, I know I was acting a little weird yesterday, but what do you say we do some lion dancing now? Sorry, new pal. Maybe later. We already have plans. Come on, Shigwa. Too bad you don't have time to come with us. Bye, Dongwa. But I... But I do have the time. Being half a lion isn't nearly half as fun. Now what am 
I gonna do? Tom's pal. I mean, I'm Dongwa. Hi, Dongwa. I'm Ling. How about teaching me some of those dance moves? Sure. Hop in. Okay. Now, when I flap my ears, you kick with the hind leg. Like this? Yeah, Ling. You got it. <laughs> Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, where they know that the fun of playing and learning together is more than just good. It's great! Doink! Shigua, your great great uncle will be arriving soon. Well, as you see, this is the library. I think he's the Emperor's historian. Uncle Meow works for him. Now, let's get you settled into the guest house. Uncle Miao, it is a great honor to welcome you to our home. It's a great honor to be here. Uh, where am I, anyway? Oh, yes, of course, it's you, Baba Miao. And you, Mama Miao. How wonderful to see you both again. And these must be your children. Ah, you must be Dongwa, and you must be Shigwa. But I thought there was a third kitten, too. I'm Shigwa, and I'm Sagwa. Dongwa is our brother. Oh, right, right. This part of the palace was built about 200 years ago, but actually, that makes it newer than the rest of the palace. They say that some of our Miao family ancestors lived in the palace when it was built by the Emperor about 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago? Wow! 
Are you telling us the Emperor is 2,000 years old? No, Sagwa. I'm talking about one of his ancestors who built the palace. <sighs> oh, what's the matter? Don't you like history? I hate history. Oh. Oops. Hmm. Dongwa, I want you to apologize to Uncle Meow right now. I'm sorry I was disrespectful, Uncle Meow. Apology accepted, Dongwa. I understand. What are your plans for the rest of the day, Uncle Meow? I thought I might go exploring. Oh! In the library. I want to see if I can track down that story about our ancestors and the Emperor's ancestor. If it's true, it means we come from a long line of royal cats. We were going exploring too, remember? <laughs> come on! This is great, Dongwa! We better be careful. Everyone says this valley is a place of secrets and mysteries. Help me! Uh? Help me! Songwa! Dongwa! Shigwa! Shigwa! Where are you, Shigwa? There's no sign of her. This is serious. Where could she be? Come and look at this! She must have gone through here! knows this is here? I don't know. We have to tell Mama and Baba and Uncle Meow. Only, how are we going to get out of here? Are we going to be stuck in here forever? I, I hope not. We found our way in here, so, um, I guess we can find our way out. What do you think? <gasps> hey, there are cats over here, too. A whole family of them. Hmm. What's more important is, this stream must lead somewhere. And the water must come out somewhere. And I think these cats are showing us the way. They showed us the way out. Do you think you could find your way back to that cave, Dongwa? No problem. I'll lead the way. Uh, where are we going? Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, through here, is it? Uh, Uncle, wait! I haven't had this much fun since I fell off the pagoda in the Forbidden City. Oh. You've been 
to the Forbidden City? The path of history leads to many places. So, you mean these cats are history, Uncle Meow? Indeed, they are, Dangwa. Hmm. So, what are they doing here anyway? Well, let's see if we can find out, shall we? Being a historian is a bit like being a detective. A detective? Wow! This is very old, and it says these cats were placed here just over 2,000 years ago by the Emperor's ancestor. It says here he wanted to have cats that would protect the shrine forever. Let's go and find out. Now, where did you say you saw those other cats, Dongwa? Over here! I fell into the Yangtze River once. Uh, well, twice, actually. Uh, this is nothing. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Remember I told you I thought we may be able to trace our family back to the time of the Emperor's ancestor? Right. You said we're from a long line of royal cats. No, I only said it was possible, but I haven't been able to find the proof. And I'm afraid these cats don't really tell us anything. Uncle Meow? Yes? There was one other cat. Why don't you show me, Dunkwa? I don't believe it. You found it after all these years. You found it. Wow, I knew we'd find it. Uh, what did we find exactly? The proof. I've been looking in the historian scrolls, and all the time, the historical evidence was in this cave. What are you talking about, Uncle Meow? Take a close look at this cat. What do you see? Looks a little different than the other cats. It's wearing a collar. Uh huh. And? Hey! That's a Meow family emblem! Yes! Don't you see what this means? The Emperor's ancestor put this cat here, and the cat is a member of the Meow family, and that means. That means that this is one of our ancestors! And that means we're royal cats! Whoa! some more, Uncle Meow. No, don't tell us more. Tell us everything. <laughs> I thought you said you hated history, Dongwa. Hmm. Well, I guess something must have changed my mind. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. <gasps> Watch out, Uncle Meow! Oh, 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 oh. curious cat, and I'm always on the lookout for ways to have fun. I think visiting famous monuments is fun. Very interesting indeed. People visit monuments to remember and celebrate a person, an event, or a time in history. One of the most famous monuments in the entire world is here in China, the Great Wall of China. And it is exactly that, a great wall. It's 4,500 miles long. That's the distance from Florida to the North Pole. The Great Wall is so big, you can see it from space. 
The wall was originally built to keep out invaders, and it took more than 2,000 years to complete. It is truly an amazing sight. What about you? Have you been to a famous monument? I went to Ellis Island with my class, because we, we were studying immigration. It was pretty cool, because seeing how hard Hello. it was for all those people to come to the United States. They brought, like, clothes and stuff from, like, their native lands. Like, they came from all over the world, I guess, like Italy and Europe and China and Japan and all, all, all sorts of places. They had to find jobs and houses, and usually the houses they found were, like, tenements. Maybe that was, like, your great-grandfather that came here and did all those things so you could have a better life. Now that was a great story. I have a great view from up here to see monuments everywhere. Oh, here's one. The Cairo Tower. It's in the middle of the Egyptian city of Cairo. It was built to impress the world. It's more than 600 feet tall. That's as tall as 133 orangutans. Artists and writers love this spot, a source of true inspiration. So, whether it's a wall, an island, or a tower, people all over the world are visiting monuments. What about you? That's a beautiful flower. It makes me feel so happy just looking at it. Oh, I think I can almost smell it. Mmm. Don't be silly, Shigua. It's just a drawing. And by the way, it smells like paper and ink. Well, I still think it's beautiful. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. It's just a picture, and not even a good one at that. Dongwa, stop it. Yeah, cut it out. I was gonna give that to Shigua. flower. It's ruined. Look what you did. Hey, don't blame me. You guys ripped it when you tried to grab it. We did not. Oh, yes, you did. My beautiful flower. What's all this noise about? Dongwa made fun of me when I said how beautiful Sokwa's painting was. Yeah. He said it was just a picture and that it was ugly. I did not. Yes, you did. And then he ripped it. I did not. I'm surprised that you didn't see the beauty in Sagwa's drawing. But it's only a silly old picture. A picture is not silly. And it can make people feel many different emotions. Art is very powerful. Now this is powerful. Yeah! <laughs> Well, yes, it is, but that's a different sort of power. Huh? Well, perhaps I should tell you the story of one of your most powerful ancestors ever, the legendary Ming Miao of China. Did he do gum fu too? No, Dongwa. He was an artist. What? Once upon a time, there was a young cat named Ming Miao who had a great talent for drawing. But more than just being beautiful, Ming Yao's paintings had an incredibly magical quality. His drawings actually came to life. Whatever he drew became real. Ming Yao had a very good heart, and so he only drew good and beautiful things. Ming Miao's extraordinary talents began to spread across the land. <laughs> Cats and people from all over the countryside flocked to see his paintings and drawings spring to life.
And he continued to do only good things with his precious gift and talent. It seems that the emperor had also heard of Ming Miao's talents, <laughs> and he wanted to see for himself just exactly what all the fuss was about. So the guards put Ming Miao in a cage and took him off to the emperor's palace. And for the first time in Ming Miao's happy life, tears streamed down his face. Why was he crying? Well, wouldn't you cry if a bunch of guards came and put you in a cage and took you away from your home? Poor Ming Miao. But once he got to the emperor's palace, he was taken to his very own room. It was filled with a thousand colors of ink and more blank scrolls than Ming Miao could count. He cheered up. The emperor must love paintings too. He told himself. Continued to paint his lovely magical pictures. But the emperor was evil, and he had other ideas. He wanted Ming Miao to draw horrible cyclones to destroy his enemies. wasn't enough. Even bigger sandstorms to blind his foes. Once the evil emperor realized the tremendous power of Ming Miao's drawings, he could not stop himself, and he forced Ming Miao to draw one horrible catastrophe after another: lightning, firestorms, floods, even sharks. Sharks? Yes, even sharks. But Mama, how could it be that Ming Miao was forced to do such evil things? Yeah, what an awful end to such a great story! Not so quickly. Ming Miao did not want to draw these evil things, so instead, he had to come up with a plan to distract the emperor. He drew a fantastic sailing ship for the emperor. With tall masts and gigantic sails. The next day, Ming Miao presented the、ah. drawing to the emperor, who oohed and awed over the magnificent ship. And right before the emperor's eyes, the incredible ship magically began to come to life. As it sailed through the air, the ship became bigger. And bigger. Well, as you can imagine, the emperor was amazed. He could not believe his eyes. My, my," said the emperor. "With this fine vessel as the flagship of my mighty navy, we will never again lose a battle at sea." And so, the emperor boarded his new ship. The emperor was so taken with the ship's gigantic sails that he failed to notice that Ming Miao had not drawn a rudder, a ship's wheel, nor any other way to steer the ship. No, the emperor was so greedy that he could only admire the vast size of his amazing new ship, and of course he couldn't wait to take it out to sea. And no sooner were they all on board than Ming Miao drew a strong and steady wind, which blew the ship and the emperor and his imperial guards straight out to sea for many hundreds of miles. Now, as we already know, Ming Miao was good and not cruel and evil. So he had drawn fruit and vegetables and food and drinking water on the ship, so the emperor and his guards would not starve. <gasps> And several hundred miles offshore, Ming Miao drew a lush island, which sprang to life right in front of the ship. And that is where the emperor and his imperial guards landed. And after they had landed on the island, 
Ming Miao drew a gigantic ring of rocky reefs and shoals around the island so that the emperor and his guards would never be able to leave. So for the rest of their lives, the evil emperor and his guards lived on that island with more than enough food and fresh water to live a full life. But far, far away from the people of China, whom they could have harmed. What happened to Ming Miao? Well, that's a very interesting question. I suppose he could have remained at the emperor's palace, where he could have ruled China, couldn't he? Mm -hmm. And he could have used his art to control the people. Mm -mm. No, Ming Miao would never have used his art for evil. He would have never done that. My goodness, Donghua. You have been paying attention. And yes, you're right. Ming Miao would have never used his art for evil. Instead, he returned to his home. Back to this very village, where he continued to draw only good things. And where he became the official cat calligrapher to that province's magistrate. Just like us! Well, yes. How do you think we learned to write and draw? It's been passed down from generation to generation, ever since Ming Miao all the way down to the three of you. So you see, a picture can be very powerful. Yeah, but mine don't come to life, and neither do Sogwas or Shiguas. But they still have power. Was that really a true story, Mama? <laughs> about everything in my life begins with them. Chinese families remember their ancestors by keeping family traditions alive. One important tradition is family heirlooms. Parents and grandparents like to pass down things to their children, things that have special value to the family. Another tradition passed down is paper cutouts. Did you know paper was invented in China? The Chinese use paper arts to decorate walls and windows. Red paper cutouts are especially popular because red is a lucky color. All of these traditions are important because they keep our family stories alive. What about you? What traditions do you have in your family? My grandparents taught me about Hanukkah. My grandma, she has this very, very old menorah and we, uh, we use it every year. And it's beautiful. I think it's like beautiful because it has all these kinds of designs all around it. I really love my grandma's lakas. They're very small and I usually take three at a time and I put applesauce on all of them because that's what makes them taste good. If my kids were hungry and on Hanukkah and they wanted lakas, I would definitely make them. Now that was a great story! Families everywhere have their own traditions. Hey, look at this. These kids are learning traditional dance steps from Africa. Dances have been performed by African families for generations. The dances help the kids remember the family's history and culture. Some dances are performed to celebrate a special occasion or tell an important story. Dancers use makeup to show the character they're playing. Makeup inspires the performers and really excites the audience. People all world remember their family stories through traditions. What about you?
Signore Poro, welcome to our beautiful village. This visit commemorates a time of great historical importance when your great, 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 <coughs> great grandfather first came from Italy and met with my great, 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 etc., etc., grandfather, setting the stage for centuries of peace and commerce between our two lands. Your Excellency, grazie mille for this beautiful and generous welcome. If only my great, great, great... <clears throat> Excuse me. If only my ancestor could see this magnificent moment. We have a special reception plan for you. Right this way. Your Excellency, Your Grace, and the members of the court, it is my pleasure to travel here to your beautiful province to celebrate the anniversary of a very similar journey made many hundreds of years ago. A journey where your ancestor warmly hosted my ancestor, the legendary Marco Polo. And on that journey, Grandpa Papa Polo discovered the wondrous pasta right here in your land and took it back to Italy where pasta? it has become our most what beloved What is he talking about? Food. I thought your ancestor gave him noodles. A gorgonzola cheese from... Uh, gorgonzola? Cheese? What's that? <laughs> oh. oh! Just act grateful. I'm sure it is something very expensive. Oh, thank you, signore. Cheese? We've been out of it for, well, it feels like centuries. And for this most beautiful of Chinese flowers, an exquisite diamond necklace from Roma. Jewels like this could only grace the delicate neck of one so lovely and refined as yourself. Oh, signore, I do not know what to say. And to commemorate your historic visit, we too have gifts for you. Beautiful things you have here. Even your cats are so elegant, so unusual. I have been admiring them all afternoon. Molti belli. Well, signore, these cats are very special. They are our imperial cats. Not only are they beautiful, but they have a very unique talent. They can write beautiful calligraphy with their tails. Fantastico! To have a cat like this! Well, signore, if you like the idea so much, why don't you take one of our cats back with you to Italy? You can choose from one of these three fine kittens. Make your selection by tomorrow and let me know. You will have the first cat who can write for you in Italian. I just don't understand how the master could give one of us away. That's terrible! Terrible? It's awful! It stinks! Just like that stinky cheese that man brought with him. Dagwa? Gangwa? I'm scared. What if it's me? What if it's me? What are you two worried about? Of course it'll be me! I'm the strongest! I'm the best looking! I'm sure he'll pick me! <gasps> I don't want to leave you guys. I don't want to leave Mama and Bubba. And I sure don't want to go to Italy. Maybe nobody will have to go to Italy. Come here. Okay. <laughs> do not worry, my beautiful wife. Huh? I will not let the master give away any of our children. I will not let our family be broken up. But how? We will leave here if we have to. Other cats can live on the streets. So can we. Now we can forget our plan. Maybe we should still do it. 
How could you offer to give him one of our valuable cats? Well, my miraculous mango, it seemed like a good idea at the time. But what am I to do now? I cannot go back on my word. I would look very foolish. I cannot lose face. Well, we certainly cannot have you looking foolish, my dear. I will have to think of a way out. Signore, may I present you with our three imperial kittens. Sagwa, Dongwa, and Shigwa. They will now show you their very special gifts, and you will select one of them as your very own. Sagwa, you may go first. Oh, signore, I don't know what is wrong with her today. This kitten is a young master of the martial arts. Whoa! I'm ready to whisk them out of the room if I have to. But I think our three smart children may have worked out their own plan. Signore, I just don't know what is wrong today. Usually, this one is very strong and... Oh, it is all right. Do not worry. What about this little one? Bambina, bambina, cara, what's wrong, my little kitty? Quick, dip your paws in the pepper. We'll put it on each other and make him sneeze. Wow! While we're at it, let's put some in his tea. Now, to make my choice, perhaps this pretty kitty. Hmm. <laughs> you! <laughs> well, perhaps not this one. Maybe her brother. <laughs> Push the teacup over toward him. <laughs> but, Dodo Bia, I didn't realize I had an allergy to cats. Hey there, Mia Bellissima, my little one. Do you want to come back to Italy with me? What a nice kitty. And you even brought me tea. Grazie. Yes, I think you are the one. Hmm. <laughs> Mamma mia! I thought we Italians liked things spicy, but this tea is... <laughs> I must say, these cats make me feel very strange. No, no, it's nothing. Niente. I will take one of these cats. After all, how could I refuse your generous gift to me? I would be so rude. So I will take... I will take... The little one. She is so very cute. And she doesn't make me sneeze like the other ones do. Come here, little one. Stop! Wait! Just a moment! <gasps> Signore, Signore, we have made a terrible mistake by offering you one of our cats. What? What? You, you change your mind? You see, Signore Poro, our cats can only write in Chinese. That is all I know. So, I'm afraid that these cats would be quite useless to you. They will just be a source of continual embarrassment to you when you return home. Oh, to say nothing of all that sneezing, my goodness. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. To make up for all of this, my husband would like to offer you a gift which is much more appropriate and much more grand, if I do say so myself. A special gift. One which I have painted for you myself. A painting of your ancestor and my husband's ancestor depicting their first meeting together so many centuries ago. And here it is. 
Oh! Huh? It's... 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 Uh, magnificent! Please accept this gift with our most humble good wishes for a safe and serene trip back to your homeland. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie mille. You're welcome. Quite welcome. And now, signore, before the trade winds shift to an undesirable direction, you better be on your way. May the gods watch over you, etc., etc., and all that blah, blah, blah. Have a wonderful journey. Ciao! You didn't know I was such a brilliant artist, did you? No, I didn't. Absolutely brilliant. Cook, let there be extra fish for the cats tonight. And while you're at it, prepare an extra special meal for my generous husband. It's time for all of our families to be together tonight. fun of playing and learning together is more than just good. It's great! Doink! 